Hey, how's it going? And I'm excited to bring in this tutorial today on retargeting a UE5 animation to a metahuman. And in other tutorials, I've shown you how to get a UE4 to a UE5, and now I'm showing you how to get a UE5 to a metahuman. And so this is the final step in the chain. So what we're going to do first is get a metahuman in here. And this might take a little bit of finagling, but we're going to go to the Quixel Bridge. And I have some metahumans here. And you go to my metahumans. And I have this one right here. And I notice this sometimes you click on it and it's been downloaded. So all I have to do here is click to add it to the project. And that's all I got to do. So then I can jump back in here to Unreal and there's my metahuman. And there's some lag time. We'll probably have to enable some plugins. I hope that that'll be fixed in some future version. So we don't see anything here yet, but I'm going to go ahead and drag it. It's like a ghost drag because I don't see anything happen. But it realizes I just dragged it on there and now it's realizing it needs its plugins. So we just have to wait for a minute here. And this is constantly changing. So now we got to do the enable missing plugins. This is just standard procedure. And then we're going to have to do a restart. So we'll do a restart. We'll go ahead and save. And there it's going to come around again for the second time. And we're in Unreal Engine 5.21 the most current version, and I'm using the MetaHuman 5.2 as well. So the other MetaHumans, I guess, are considered legacy now. So that's not without its issues. So I just did a tutorial about your MetaHuman may be missing hair. So let's play. My system is kind of sluggish. I think it has to do with the OneDrive. So you see how the MetaHuman has, no, it has that LOD issue. See as I get closer. It should, the hair should pop in, but it's not even popping in. So let's fix that real super quick. I'm sorry to have to do that, but that I don't like seeing that. So let me just escape out of this. And we'll just jump into the MetaHuman blueprint real fast, and we'll go ahead and dock this. We're just gonna come up here to LOD sync. And I don't know why it says negative one there, that's the problem. So you can just put a zero in there and then just recompile and save that and that fixes the that should fix the hair issue the alopecia <laughs> keep my mannequin's name out of your mouth okay here we go and there you go it takes care of that problem there okay so now we're good to go and we're going to try to do the retargeting so to do that this is not too complicated now we're going to go into a mannequin animation quinn and we're going to go to the idol and there is our UE5 animation right there. And if I hit play, it takes, everything takes a while. My system, I think this has to do with OneDrive on my computer. OneDrive is storing stuff, I think, on the cloud, and there's like a delay. So we can see the animation. We can see the animation on the UE5 mannequin, the subtle idol, but not on our... Metahuman. So that's what we're going to take care of right now. And they have fixed a lot of issues, so it's really not that much to do. We're just going to go into mannequins here, and we're going to go into rigs, and they have the retargeter right here. And they couldn't have made it more simple, honestly. This part is not too bad. So we're going to double click that, and then the rig comes in. It comes in. You don't have to make any other adjustments here. We just need to pick the rig that we're targeting too. So this is gonna come off, that's all set. We can leave that set. We're gonna just pick our meta human here. Oh, and one other thing is we need to check the body type that we're using here on our, so we click on body and we're, you see that we're using the, the female tall narrow, the female tall narrow. So check and see what body type your meta human is. And then if we come back into retargeting, oops, I lost my place up here, hold on come back into retargeting we need to set it to that to that female tall narrow this female tall narrow not the shorts so that's what we want to retarget to we don't need to do anything else and then we just need to find the animation that we are going to target and that is if we come over here and go back into our animations here and go to Quinn that is the MF idol that we're trying to retarget 
So we'll come back in here and we just need to find that MF. It's in the asset browser, MF. We can search for just idle here, it should pop up. This one, MF idle. And that's all we need to do. So set your rig to the metahuman, female, tall, narrow body, check your body type on your metahuman, and then simply go export. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna export it into the main content level. You could put it in your own folder, but you can do. And then it, it imports it just like that. This is where I was getting tripped up. We have to select our metahuman here. This is now an asset. So just think of it as an asset. It's a, it looks headless and torsoless, but it's an asset. So then we come in here and select on the body and you'll see here it says animation mode. We wanna switch this to use animation asset. And then we just search for that MF, this MF idol, MF idol right here. And then you select that and then we hit play and it should all be lined up. I apologize for how laggy my system is. I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna have to put this onto a different hard drive, but you can see that our animations are now in idle. And that's all there is to it. So take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.